What's going on YouTube? It's Dex29 coming at you with another video review. This time of my Indian Scout Bobber 2020. We're going to go have some fun, fun, fun times. You know, I'm just uh, making the world a better place. Check this out. What's going on people of YouTube? Thought today would be a good day to, you know, shoot a video. I got out early, went to the dentist, found out I had a cavity. Found out I had a cavity and uh, <laughs> Figured, you know what? I haven't eaten anything sweet in a while, so I'm gonna ride something sweet, and that is the Indian Scope Bobber. I closed my visor because I'm not sure how this is gonna sound. Cause this thing is loud. Yeah, it's too hot for that. But yes, 2020. This is my 1,000 mile review on it so far. As you can tell, she's a little bird poop on her. Well, the difference between the 2020 and the 19s or older versions, I think. Hey, I saw you looking at me. But the difference is the engine design. Like, I think this used to be multiple pieces or something. I don't know. They didn't do anything fancy to it. So, you know what? That's okay. Alright. Well, let's just talk about some of the superficial shit no one gives a shit about. High beam, low beam, signals. That one's working. That one's working. That one's working. That one's working. Hazards, you hold it down and well, bam, she does her thing. Close it, on off, brake. Rod by wire, it's not a clutch cable, it's electronically controlled. And forward controls, these are the Reduced reach or whatever, you know, you have your RPM gauge, you adjust this, the trigger, engine temp, she's almost ready to go. Uh, battery current, 14 volts, I think. Tripometer, ooh, we're almost at a 2,000 mile review. Trip, since I filled it up last. Yeah, I'm back. Hello. Kind of cool seeing everybody out doing stuff. All right, and the Indian Scout too. I've seen people complain about this. Is when the kickstand is down, you can put it in gear. You can legit still ride with the. Oh, whoops. <laughs> of course, I stalled it showing that. All right, let's just go. But yeah. Um, I don't really care about that. I mean, the kickstand not shutting off the bike at first doesn't bother me. I rode this thing in the dark about midnight or whatever and didn't have any issues. You know, you just gotta get in the habit of putting your kickstand back up. You know, my FZ shuts itself off, but whatever. I don't even know why I rev match. I didn't release the clutch. Oops. <laughs> well, guess I'm waiting. Yeah, if you release the clutch to, um, she's deceiving, you know. It's a pretty good grab on it. it certainly isn't like the FZ, I'll tell you that. All right, let's go. I'm 
we're gonna reveal the secret to how the Indian Scout makes 100 horsepower. The only the old American way. Oh, come on. Yes. Why is he hauling? Come on. Oh, somebody's vehicle is a little thirsty. I think I'm crazy. Yes. Get the 91 dead dinosaurs, as Blockhead would say. These dinosaurs serve very well as they did in life, as they continue to do in death. You'll be burned away for smiles, making a difference in some sad man's life from Minnesota. Yes. Oh, shit. She's spraying. Honored horsepower. Oh, you make it. Yep, buddy. $5.40. It'll last about three rides, maybe two if I'm lucky. Is that guy just staring at me? That's all right. Everybody stares at me. I'm um, what you call weird. That's too fast. <laughs> wow, that was okay. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about my Indian Scout bobber today. Um, it's 2020. I showed you some stuff in my buddy's driveway. And um, yeah, today we're going to talk about it, go for a ride and kind of show off what it does. So like I said, this motorcycle makes 100 horsepower. God, this helmet is so fucking loud. <laughs> I'm not using my icon, but like I said, this helmet uses makes 100 horsepower. Um, that's the claim by Polaris Indian. Um, it's more or less around 75, as people have seen on the dyno. Um, I think the Scout is supposed to have 60 foot-pounds of torque, 70. I can put it in the video as an annotation or whatever. But yeah, it's supposed to have good horsepower on it and torques. It's a high revving engine. It certainly is, oh, isn't like a Harley. Uh, <laughs> the suspension on this thing is, uh, it's there. You know, it's, it's, it's a bobber, right? It's not really something that you can say is comfortable. Uh, especially me being 5'11", 200 and some pounds. Watch this. Oh, nice. They patched over it. I didn't shoot my back out of my ass. But it's it's not comfortable. You go over a bump, you're gonna you're gonna wish you had it. Especially if you're a 200 pound big boy. Well, 200 plus. Probably 200 as well, or maybe even 170. <laughs> Without a response, instant.
like I showed you, I stalled it earlier, the clutch is great. I haven't stalled this bike often, so it's kind of awesome. I stalled it twice in my video, which is always awesome and great. Made me look like an idiot, bigger idiot than I already am. Um, another thing too, is these bars. These bars are horrible for my height. Like I said, I'm 5'11", almost 6 foot and change. I wish I could get 10 inches on these, you know, have them up to about here. That'd be awesome. Because as a man, men have these things called family jewels between their legs. And this motorcycle will numb yourself. You will be numb downstairs whether you like it or not. And that's just the way of riding the scope. So it, it's probably a good 15 minutes before you start losing feeling down in the, in the other regions. But that's alright. You know, you, you're riding a fun bike. This bike is really easy to rev match too. I mean, seriously. Extremely easy. It's docile. It's not going to get away from you. I mean, at 3,000, it's, you know, it's a really easy bike to ride. The brakes, they're all right. The front's a little, they're, I mean, it's a single caliper up front, but there are also braided lines and a single caliper in the rear as well. Corners, you got to take them a little slow, but you know what? This is why you buy a Scout. Yes. Took her up to the red line. <laughs> it's a very peppy V twin. It looks it likes to ride to be in the RPMs. I don't know what the RPMs RPMs were when it cut out. I wanted to show that because I don't know off the top of my head. So you know that's that's just kind of a thing. It's somewhere in the 6,000, I think, 7. So it likes to be wrapped. It is a liquid-cooled V-twin, so if you don't like liquid-cooled engines or the radiators, this bike isn't for you. You know, like you just don't like the look or you don't like the added maintenance. Um, I will post updates to this review about maintenance and whatnot. It is a belt drive, which is fucking awesome. No oiling chains, nothing. Just a belt, you know. It's on a pulley and it's attached to a wheel and it goes around and around and around and around real fast. Whee! Uh, this bike is also really comfortable just doing this. Just cruising, you know. It likes to just cruise. It's comfortable until you hit a big ass bump. The, tra the trail is nice on it, it doesn't fucking it feels planted you know it's 550 pounds it doesn't feel like it's blowing around I've had this thing out in 30 mile an hour winds no problem you know oh well, maybe I was sitting a little like this you know but it feels nice the wind isn't too bad like I said either I've had this thing out in 30 mile an hour winds you know it's just a factor of having a motorcycle that doesn't have a windscreen and I don't plan on putting a windscreen on this because it's a bobber right Plus, it's a good arm workout. I mean, not gonna lie, the first few times you ride this thing, your forearms are gonna hurt. I also like my mirrors like this with these bars because if you have them upside down, there is potential for the mirror to hit your tank. And I don't want to fuck up my tank because, you know, it's dirty, it's great. Wow, it is windy out. I can't hear shit in this helmet. I hate this helmet. I, I, I can't hear a damn thing. I can hear my bike a little bit, but who can't? Yeah, down low at 3,000 RPMs at 70. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of like a sport bike in that sense. It likes to be...
likes to be at the higher RPMs. I don't know. Is that my turn? Nope. That's dirt. I don't want to go that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, and another thing I wanted to tell you guys about. I kind of had to figure this out the hard way. When I bought this motorcycle, um, it was it was still kind of in the midst of winter, right? I get down to about 30, 20 degrees at night. I'm talking Fahrenheit here, I'm not talking Celsius. I ain't that smart. But anyway, in 10 and 20 and anything below like 40 degrees. This bike does require a couple pushes of that start button to get her to top off, to pop off. It takes a couple pushes, you know, the first time it'll... You know, it'll fucking just do that shit. So you just kind of shut it off, you know. You turn it on again, and it's... Pop, 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 then it finally goes. That's because this thing has 15 weight oil in it. Yeah, 15 white oil. It, the oil is so thick, it's hard to start this thing when it's cold. And I thought, there's something wrong with this bike. You know, fuck, I can ride in 40 degree weather, no problem. I mean, fuck, I got Scandinavian in me. I ain't scared of shit. My blood is as thick as maple syrup. But, it's like, what the fuck? So I figured it out that the oil is thick, and that's kind of a thing with these scouts. They don't like starting in the cold. That's just kind of a thing. My Yamaha, on the other hand, you start that thing, fuck. Anything would get that thing switched and flicked on. That thing's easy to turn on, damn. Yeah, this, uh, this kind of concludes my review. I mean, the bike feels fucking good and feels planted. Brakes are all right. The suspension is horrible. The bars are horrible. The mirrors are nice. So far, so good. I mean, like I said, it's yeah, it's and fuck, it's almost actually almost been 2,000 miles. You know, it's just a good bike. I've been riding around a lot with this thing. Uh, things I do wish I could change on it is I'd like to get those highway pegs so you can do that. Um, taller bars, better suspension. This is the, oh yeah, the mod for this bike that I have done to it is um, the Indian Comfort Seat. The, I didn't even want to try to stick my fat ass on that standard seat. <laughs> I mean, especially with the way I ride, I mean, I, I like to goose this thing too much. And it's, it's fun, it sounds good. The ex stock exhaust on this thing is it's quieter than a sewing machine. Just do yourself a favor and get rid of it. And the stock exhaust is horrible. Did I miss my turn? Yeah. Oh well, we'll turn around somewhere. This is a fun motorcycle. If you're planning on getting it, definitely consider getting it. Um, so far it's been reliable, I haven't had any issues, it's fun, it's fast, it's comfortable, regardless of the bars and my disfigured body. I like it, I like it a lot. I highly recommend it, it is worth the money. If you're looking at a Sportster or anything of the sort, and you've ridden a motorcycle before, you should get this motorcycle. For a new rider though, uh, 5 or 60, Scout 60, this is a little crazy for someone who hasn't ridden a motorcycle before. Not only that, but it'll spoil you. It'll spoil you, spoil you very badly. Because, you know, the purpose of motorcycles, in my opinion, I mean, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, if it's if you got the money for it and you want to scout as your first bike, fucking get it. I don't care. You're gonna have the time of your life. You're gonna love that bike. You won't run. You won't want to ride anything else. And that being said, you won't want to ride anything else. You'll be comparing things to the, your scout, and it'll be hard to enjoy another motorcycle because this motorcycle is just so fucking awesome. 
mean, I don't want to toot my own horn and, you know, suck my own dick, but, fuck. Uh, it's a great motorcycle. Oh, there's a turn. Alright. And I can end my recording. <laughs> but yeah, if you really want an Indian Scout, no one's going to stop you except for your credit score. <laughs> or how much money you have in the bank. I mean... Like I said, you know, the great thing about living in America is it's a free country. And if you don't live in America, I'm sorry, man. Hopefully your country has the scout. If not, it is what it is. But we'll just take one last quick look at it. Oh, God. I hate this helmet. Ugh, this is not my icon. It's heavy, it's weird, it's bulbous. Yeah, this is the Scout. I don't know how to blur plates, so I probably won't, but yeah, you can tell an Indian Scout, the regular one is by the black rocket panels and my nuts are fucking numb. Great. Yeah, this is the trash slip on exhaust, so if you've made it this far into the fucking, who knows, 25 minute video, 20 minute video, yeah, that's what it is. Oh man, there's the oil filter. Heat shields, you know, it's kind of everything you expect on a motorcycle. It's fucking great. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hello. But, uh, yeah, if you didn't like it, please, you know, just don't don't be mad at me. It's your dad's fault. I'm sorry, but it is what it is, you know. I didn't get up and say I'll be a back from the gas station or never return <laughs> but anyways have a good day thanks for watching